So um, my name is Matt Taylor. And what I'm going to do today right now is a channel intro if you're because this channel is new I just created it um, I've been offline for the last week so I didn't get the chance to do it last week but I will be talking about um, uh, what's going to be on this channel what I'm going to use it for and uh, the content that you can expect to see here as I go along but first I need to put some music on because that's what people tend to do this time it's going to be some Malatu Estanque and his Ethiopian quintet. So I'm just gonna have some music on the background here. Turntables are fun. There we go. Hopefully it's not too distracting. Last time uh, I could hear it and you guys could barely hear it. So let me know if the music is too loud. Um, otherwise, I am going to refer to my whiteboard here. So I'm gonna do this a lot. Uh, I think this is my camera, yeah. So I'm gonna do this a lot. Um, if I have uh, content that I wanna talk about, uh, I'll draw a lot of stuff on a whiteboard. Um, this is just sort of to remind me what to talk about. So first of all, my name is Matt Taylor. I am a software engineer by trade. I've been software engineering well over 10 years, more like 15, 17 maybe. Um, and uh, I have worked for a company called Numenta for over seven years. So here is a website, numenta.com, that will explain the company, Numenta. Um, in 2013, my company uh, decided to take all of their code and make it open source. Uh, so when we did that, we created numenta.org, and I took over as the open source community manager and um, I still work in that capacity for Nementa. So I haven't told you anything about what we do yet, but at least that's my role at Nementa. I actually started off as a front-end engineer, but now I manage essentially Nementa.org, the public HTM community. And I'll talk about HTM in a bit. Um, so if you want more info about Nementa, Nementa.com, or the public-facing side of Nementa, Nementa.org. Um, so if, uh, I'll be talking also about HTM a lot. Um, this channel is not going to be entirely about HTM, but everything I do essentially is related to HTM. HTM is hierarchical temporal memory. And it's a technology that Numenta has been developing for, since it's, it was created like over a decade ago. Um, our mission is to study how intelligence works, figure out how intelligence works in the human brain, specifically starting with the neocortex. That's where we've, we've always looked first, is to try and understand the core algorithms that are happening in the neocortex. Um, and then apply them in software, essentially. Try and create them and non, replicate them, a non-biological system. So to understand intelligence well enough in the brain to create it outside the brain. That's our mission. Um, so HTM is a result of that. Um, it's basically sort of a collective term for all the things we've learned up until this point. Um, and uh, so I'll be talking about different aspects of HTM. It's a, it's a, you know, a low level model of how neurons work in the, in the neocortex. Um, talking about different types of uh, synapses and connections. Um, so I'll talk about that stuff uh, uh, as, as content on this channel as I go along. Um, let me show you my schedule real quick. I, if you if you go to my Twitch page, let's change. The for the oh man, now I gotta pause this. Pause. Okay. Uh, so this is basically live me, ten seconds ago. So the schedule go away. Uh, I will try and keep updated here. Um, I'm probably not gonna do the work session, nine a.m. work session today because I'm sort of doing this right now, and I. And uh, I might, who knows, I might. I have stuff to work on. Um, but I definitely will, will keep a regular 1 p.m. Monday chat open where, and this is this will be, um, I'm gonna do this today at one, so this will be the first episode of it. And I'm gonna invite you know anyone to come and talk about AI specifically or neuroscience. Um, you can talk about 
AGI if you like, uh, although that's not my focus. I really like to focus on the details, the implementations of things, and we're and we're far enough away from AGI, it's hard to do, to talk about the details or implementations of things. So a lot of what I talk about is low level AI stuff. Um, and the neuroscience that sort of relates to the low level AI stuff that we, we like to talk about. So I will start off that at 1 p.m. today, it's Pacific time. Um, and I'm gonna talk about AI in general. And I'll relate it a little bit to game development since Twitch is, you know, so focused on, on gamers and most of the other like programmers and devs that I found out there are, are game developers. So I'll talk a bit about how AI could be applied in game development. What is AI, weak versus strong AI, sort of different classifications of AI, what's deep learning, what's a neural network, what is a biologically realistic neural network, um, spatial versus temporal uh, pattern recognition, that type of stuff. So we'll talk about that um, at one o'clock. Tuesdays and, and Thursdays are sort of my work days. So I will have a big work session, probably Tuesday at 9 a.m. and Thursday at 9 a.m. for how, however long I wanna go. Um, these are gonna be, and I'll talk about the projects later. I'll tell you, it's like whatever project I'm working on. Um, Wednesday, I'm totally offline because I drive to the Nementa office. Uh, this is my office close to my house. Um, and I drive up to the headquarters um, up in Redwood City on Wednesdays, so I'll be there Wednesdays, and I'm probably gonna be offline. I can't promise that I'll produce any content on Wednesdays. And Fridays, I've got a question mark because I don't know I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. I'll probably maybe do something, we'll see. Um, so that was the schedule. Okay, projects. <clears throat> Let me just tell you what the projects are. These are these are like big chunks of things that I'm working on. Um, so if you come and watch one of my work sessions, <clears throat> Tuesday or Thursday, you will see me working on one of these things. Uh, first off, HTM videos. I make educational HTM videos, um, and you can we call them HTM school. So, yeah, for example, uh, let's see. Oh yeah, just click on in the about me. Just click here, and you'll see the uh, YouTube page. It'll start saying it. So all of these videos here, these have tons of graphics and editing and stuff. So I, I will be working on those. Uh, I, and they're not all the HTM school. Like I'm working on a video right now that's not gonna be in this series, but it's gonna be on the YouTube page. And it, I'm putting a lot of time and, and effort into it. Um, so, so that involves like a, Adobe Premiere, uh, After Effects, Photoshop, and, and it's for, for graphics, and then I'll do, uh, and then editing and stuff. And it'll also involve potentially recording. I don't know, I mean, there's a lot of technical stuff that goes on beyond, behind the scenes for these videos. Sometimes I, I actually code simulations and you'll see a simulation running in the background that I have coded uh, custom for that video. So that would go under here. So it could be, it could be live coding and that could be uh, Python or, JS most likely um, to support those. If you if you look at this particularly like topology or temporal memory videos, there's always this 3D. It's a big WebGL uh, um, animation that you can fly through and see like the HTM system running. So there's a lot of code behind that. So that might be interesting to show. Um, okay. Aside from oh wait, I'm in the right place. Aside from that, um, aside from HTM videos. Let's, the next thing I could be working on are community projects. And I want to do more of this. Um, one of the things, like for example, I'll show you an example of the type of community projects that I want to work on. Uh, back over here. So here, uh, this is our forum, HTM forum. And uh, one of the projects that is 2D object recognition. Uh, so here's an example. Uh, I would love to work on this, um, this project. You want to know the details. There's a bunch of stuff in here of sort of how I would see it. The next thing I want to do is maybe write some tests, try and figure out how I can write a test system that's sort of agnostic to the implementation that can define object recognition tasks as, as, as first at a very low level. So anyway, so here's one of them. This would be a, an HTM project 
that's involving the community. So I wouldn't be working on this alone. I would be trying to define the project and, and the scope of it and work on it together with other people. Um, another one that if you, if you look at the last video I did yesterday, there's this, yeah, HTM path. Um, this is a, one of our forum members. Marty did this cool C, C++, I think, um, uh, demo of, of he created an HTM implementation, first of all, and then, then he's got like the grid cell modules working properly um, as an encoder. So he's got grid cell modules, encoding space. Anyway, look at the video if you want to see it. But another project is digging into this because I'm not a C++ person. Never done C++, honestly. Never written a line of C++. But it would be an interesting community uh, uh, thing to go and get his code, try and get it running locally. And if you look, I've already tried this once and failed. So, so I've, <laughs> I've partially got started this, but like, I want to finish this out. I want to get it installed. I want to, I want to do some experiments with it. Um, there's quite a few different types of community projects on the forum where people come out and they're like, Hey, I wrote this thing and I haven't had time or, um, or I haven't felt like it would give a good payback to put a lot of energy into those things now. But with Twitch, I think I, I think it would pay back, uh, pay off. I think it would pay off to like engage some of those community projects and really give them a good run for their money and sort of show if I can get them working or not. Um, cause I think it would encourage other people, uh, to do the same thing. Um, all right, back to, I'm losing my mouse back to here. Community projects is another thing. Okay. Okay. Another thing you're going to see me working on is new 2.0 most likely in some format. And I'm, and I'll also put, something called NAB. Um, and this is because we need to move from Python 2 to Python 3. Um, if you're not a software engineer, you might not care about this, but I, uh, we, Numenta's platform for intelligent computing, or NuPic, um, has been around for a long time. This is the open source HTM implementation that um, I'm the community manager for. And so I've managed this project for years. It has been sort of in maintenance mode for a couple of years now. And in the meantime, and it runs on Python 2.7. So in the meantime, 2.7 end of life is coming soon. So 2.7, we cannot depend on anymore after January. So we have to upgrade NuPic or this code base is instantly obsolete essentially. So one of the things I'll be working on is, um, uh, I would call this like a legacy software engineering problem. Okay. It's taking a legacy code base and updating it to, um, a new, um, environment, Python three. Uh, so this is probably, this has to happen this year sometime. And I'm sure I'm going to be in the, in the throes of this. Uh, so if I'm working on this, I feel totally fine, uh, live coding, whatever I'm doing, you're going to see me <laughs> confused a lot. I'm sure. So. Um, last thing, <clears throat> last thing that I will be working on, and this is fun, so I think this will uh, um, engage some people, is uh, machine learning slash HTM mashups. I put the slash here. And what I mean by mashups, I mean applying ideas and concepts that we've learned and, and implemented in HTM and know that they're, they have some functionality in the brain, trying to apply those concepts in today's machine learning frameworks like TensorFlow, like PyTorch. Um, I'd love to investigate some reinforcement learning um, uh, systems here um, and see how or if there's any way we could take what we've learned so far from the brain and improve the performance of existing systems. So um, I'll have, I will be working on this quite a bit, especially with, um, uh, by um, trying to introduce sparsity uh, and into otherwise dense neural networks. Uh, because we know sparsity is important in the brain. We know it, it helps improve results in machine learning. But the way HTM introduces sparsity or the concepts of spatial pooling, when those are applied properly, um, we think it, it will help perform machine learning systems perform better. 
Uh, so I've, we've already get, we're already have a paper we're, we have almost written on this, and it'll come out very soon. I'm going to show this is the video that I'm working on. is all about this. Um, so you'll see me working on this uh, quite a bit this year, hopefully, as long as this new pick two doesn't take too long. Um, okay, you know, so that is essentially the the channel intro and the project review. That's what I'm gonna be working on for this whole year. Um, I'm gonna try and use Twitch as much as possible and just stream if I'm ever doing engineering work that's relevant to any one of these things that I think someone might benefit from, I'll just stream it on Twitch. Um, so uh, check my schedule if you wanna know the schedule. Does anyone have any questions? Uh, let's see if there's a few people in chat. I'd be more, to help, more than happy to answer any questions that you guys have. This music's not loud enough, right? I think it just went off. Okay, this is my opportunity to flip sides. And if you're watching this you're, and you're annoyed by the turntable, I'm just, I'm sorry. I like listening to records. <laughs> okay. Okay, so it doesn't look like there are any questions. Join me at one o'clock today. And I wanna talk about, we're gonna talk about AI. I'm gonna talk specifically about um, weak versus strong AI. What is today's AI? What is it that's doing your speech recognition, for example, when you talk into your into Siri or whatever? What type of AI is that? What's doing your photo labeling in Google Photos or Facebook that's telling you, hey, here's your friend Pam? What type of AI is that? So I'll talk about that. Um, and we'll talk about classic AI. And uh, what is classic AI? expert systems, for example. Um, when you get into neural networks, at what point are you talking about deep learning versus neural networks? What is deep learning a neural network or is neural network a deep learning? So just like disambiguating some terms. Um, and then I would also like to talk about specifically like how could you apply AI for games? So we'll talk about that at 1 p.m. and I have some ideas and I'm sure that some of you guys have ideas too. So if you want to Learn more about AI in general. Um, come watch me at 1 p.m. Pacific time today. I will be live streaming here on Twitch. Thank you for watching the channel intro, and I will talk to you guys later.